So V out is given by minus of 0.1 times VAD plus VT8 and we can simply substitute these values of VAD and VT8 as we have found out earlier. So V out is equal to minus of 0.1 times VAD which is negative of 0.0001, 0091 times T8. VTH was minus of R10 plus R15 by R6 times the output voltage from the thermocouple. And so we can go to the next step and sort of expand this portion by writing this as minus of R10 plus R15 by R6 times S times TH plus the same multiplication factor times S times T. Now the critical point from this equation is that we wanted the display in terms of TH and we did not want TA to come into the picture or in other words we wanted to do the cold junction compensation. So what we have to do over here is we have to eliminate TA from these two terms by making use of this variable R15. So if we can get TA to be equal to 0 or in other words we can cancel out TA by employing these two terms then our output voltage will simply be a function of the temperature of the hot junction or the process temperature. So this is the key ingredient here and so what we can do is we can take up these two terms and set them equal to 0. So you have negative of 0 0.0001, 0091 times TA plus R15 plus R10 by R6 times S times TA should be equal to 0 and the idea is to vary R15 such that this becomes equal to 0. Note that R15 is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. And so you can go one step forward and from here you can find out the value of R15 by substituting the sensitivity factor for the J-type thermocouple as 50 microvolt per degree centigrade and we come up with the value of R15 being equal to 8.2 kilo ohms. So what this shows is that if we set R15 to 8.2 kilo ohms, this leads to cancellation of T. Even though the thermocouple was providing an output voltage with respect to TA also, that means the output voltage was proportional to TH minus of TA, but the signal conditioning allows us to eliminate TA from the final output voltage expression. So eventually we will find that V out will be proportional to TH and hence 10 kilo ohm potentiometer was a pretty good choice for this particular signal conditioning circuit. So V out is equal to 0.1 R10 plus R15 by R6 into S times TH because we have managed to compensate for TA and so substituting the values for R10, R6 and R15 and S we obtain the value of V out as 91 times TH in microvolts. Note that the TH will be in degree centigrade and this is the process temperature. Now in our earlier videos on the RTD based temperature measurement we had dealt with the analog to digital converter which was the ICL7107 IC and the same IC is also used over here in the trainer kit so that display would be equal to 1000 times the input voltage to the analog to digital converter divided by the reference voltage to the analog to digital converter. Now whatever this V out is, this V out is fed as V in for this ADC and so if we want the display to show TH we can frame this equation as TH is equal to 1000 times 91 times TH which is in microvolt and then divide it with VREF and so the value of VREF that we can obtain from this is equal to 91 millivolt. So the takeaway point from here is that 
the reference voltage for the ICL7107 ADC should be set to 91 millivolts in order to obtain the compensated temperature display in the digital panel meter of this Krenner tube.